it. And without that stimulus package deal, a lot of small business owners are feeling the pain of these widespread shutdowns. Nightside's Josh Adorid shows you that while help is out there, so are a whole lot of hurdles. The self-entrepreneurs are just kind of stuck. Chris Vasek is a small business of one running a marketing company for restaurants on his own and a photo booth business for big corporate events. So probably the two biggest hard hit uh, industries. Talk about a double whammy, yeah. Yeah. But because he employs no one but himself, he does not qualify for the state's small business emergency bridge loan, a one year zero interest loan of up to 50K for qualifying companies with between two to 100 employees. You know, I'm just kind of out in the cold. For other small businesses, a backlog of requests might be the biggest hurdle. We are experiencing a large volume of phone calls. My initial call to the USF Small Business Development Center, which is handling applications for the Tampa Bay area, went straight to a full voicemail box. I eventually got a hold of the regional director who says they're steering self-employed people like Chris toward low-interest federal small business loans instead. For other small businesses, the biggest confusion lies in calculating losses. It's not like it's a hurricane that came and went and we know exactly what the, what the injury is. And so they need to add projections in addition to the actual injury that's already occurred. For Chris, he's got hope. I have enough money to pay my bills this month. He just wishes it came with a little more clarity. But it's like, how far out do I need to stretch it? Like, you know, how much ramen do I need to buy? So Josh posted links to the applications for all of those different loan programs on the story under the Nightside section of our free 10 News app.